Earlier in the newscast, we told you about a man who's been arrested for animal cruelty. Many of the animals rescued from his home are now at the Humane Society of West Alabama. Bonnie Miller and Barry Hubbard are volunteers at the Humane Society, and they're here to tell us how you can help. Thanks for being with us today. Thank, Thank you. you. First of all, tell us about the situation a little bit, maybe for our viewers who missed the beginning of the newscast. Well, there was a raid in Pickens County um, a couple of nights ago. About 20-something animals were seized by the Humane Society of West Alabama, and they were in just horrific conditions. Um, dogs crammed in cages, all kinds of dogs crammed in cages, um, in their own waste and urine, and um, there was chickens crammed in cages with the fur off, the, well, feathers off their back. Wow. And um, there was even a little red bird, a wild red bird in a cage, in a little uh, bird cage inside the house, and one had died. But we released the other red bird, and so he flew off into the night. But we were there half the night getting wow. these animals out. But um, everybody's, you know, at the vet recuperating and will be adopted out by the Humane Society. Yeah. Tell us about the process from here. Well, right now they are. Uh, there were so many animals that we had to kind of divide up and take, like Bonnie Miller here, mm -hmm. who is a cruelty investigator for Greene County. She, I believe, took six mm -hmm. uh, to her home. I went and brought three back that were in the worst shape, and wow. uh, they were took them to the emergency vet, mm -hmm. which are open all night, and then they were transferred over to Dr. Shaver's office. Mm -hmm. They immediately had to have fluids. Um, all of the dogs are, have coccidia, which is a parasite, causes um, really bad diarrhea. They're being treated for that. Um, they are getting well, getting better, um, but they're, they're a long ways to go. Um, How long will this process take, the recovery process? It's, uh, well, to get the dogs back, like one of the Great Danes should have weighed 120 pounds. She weighed 44 pounds. She could not stand. She could not walk. I had to lift her into yeah, my truck. Yeah, that was really pitiful. So uh, to get their weight back, it's going to take, you know, months. Uh, some of the other ones will be, you know, be able to be released sooner. Mm -hmm. But um, got to get the coccidia, the parasites, uh, and got to get them fed and back, you know, nourished. So it's going to be an ongoing process. And how can our viewers help? Right now, if, if they could, um, donations, mm -hmm. because it's estimated right now for each dog vet care, and this would be a very low uh, it, uh, estimate, would be about $200 a dog. And when you're talking about that many, um, and then plus the food, you know, mm -hmm. because right now they're eating, I think, four or five times a day. Wow. So, so it's, Humane Society yeah. of West Alabama, I, uh, if people would donate, that would be wonderful. Yeah, and I have several ways that you could donate. And, okay. and if you would like, um, you can, uh, those interested in, in um, uh, sending a donation, you can send it to 1515 Vietnam's Memorial um, um, Parkway, Tuscaloosa, Alabama, 35404. Or you could drop it off by our flea market, which is on 3201 Main Avenue in Northport. Uh, but that right now, and they are at Dr. Shaver's office, but please do not call Dr. Shaver's office. They are so busy. Mm -hmm. and they're not adoptable now. We do appreciate the interest, but right now they just can't take the calls. All right. Well, we appreciate you being with us today to explain the situation and to share with our viewers how they can help. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, you for all. having us. And again, you can help the rescued animals by going to the Humane Society's website and making a donation. That's humanesocietyofwa.org. Or you can give them a call at 205-554-0011.